Anyway, here we are back over at the drill doctor. And drop this back in there. Snug this up. There we go. Back at the 118 mark. Go for the jaws. Put the bit in there. Oh yeah, that index is a lot better now than it did before. So those uh, those angles on there are not really interfering with the uh, the jaws anymore like they were before. Now it's in there. I'm gonna up. Oh, yeah, you saw it snap. Let me try that again. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So let me do that again. So essentially, what was happening is you can hear it kind of crunching in there. If I don't wiggle it, there. See how it moved around? <laughs> yeah. So I'll do that again. See, it's <clears throat> the uh, the jaws are not quite catching on the flats of the flutes, and it's because of this extra grind right there. So I think I'm going to set this uh, material takeoff knob all the way back out to zero. So that I take a boatload of, of material off of this bit. And uh, let's get it back up inside here. So I want to get past that uh, grind on there. That you know back side of the flute grind. Put this in there. Okay, so now what's happened, because I have the stop pushed all the way out, um, the flutes are grabbing a little bit better. There we go. And that seems to be pretty good. And yeah, wiggling the bit, I'm not getting any jiggle and crank, creak, crinking sounds or anything like that. Just snug that down. Ah, crap, I didn't have it in there tight enough. And then again. Here we go. That sounds about right. Snug this up. Pull it out. Give it a, another little turn. And let's regrind this bit. So I've got this thing set to uh, be a pretty aggressive grind. Maximum grind. Should take a lot of time to get the uh, metal down. Okay, starting to back off. Starting to reduce again. There we go. Okay, I'm going to call that one good. It's barely uh, making any kind of a grinding sound anymore. And loosen this up. Okay. So, the uh, the point is still 90 degrees opposite of the flutes. So all it takes is a little tiny bit difference. You may not be able to see with your eyes, and that's probably why I didn't see it last time. Um, but this is the flats, you know, across the edges of the flutes. And that point looks pretty much 90 degrees from there. But it did the last time too, but it also flat out didn't cut. So now that I've done a much more aggressive cut on here, let me set this mark back up to three again. One, two, three, because that's where I want to do most of my cuts. And let's go back over the drill press.